get your Bibles, can we go to 1 Samuel, um, the first chapter, 1 Samuel, the first chapter? Come on here. It's old school church. Y'all stand for the reading of the word. I got one of them hip-hop churches. They don't stand for no Bibles. Come on, stand up. I'm out here pastoring this young generation. I try to help them, but I love coming here. Come on here. Stand up. Come on here. First Samuel 1 and 4. Whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of meat to his wife, Panina, and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion. I need you to nudge your neighbor and say, you have a double portion. Because he loved her. Pay attention. One thing mentioned back to back in two verses. The Lord had closed her womb. Because the Lord, second time, had closed her womb, watch this hater. Her rival, this spirit, kept provoking her in order to irritate her. I can't stand her. And she didn't just stop. This went on year after year. Some of y'all have had haters that keep coming every year. Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, not in the street, this warfare is in the house of the Lord. And she didn't call it church hurt either. Her rival provoked her. This girl got her crying that, that she wept. Here, watch this. And would not eat. Some of y'all say, now, she, she ain't made me that mad. Now, look at here. <laughs> I get mad, but you're not going to get me like that, boo. <laughs> Go down to the 17th verse. Eli answered. Go in peace. And may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. <laughs> she said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and ate something and her face was no longer downcast. Oh, you're going to smile after this service. <laughs> On your way to your seat, can you tell three people, it's all coming together. It's all coming. Come on, type that on the screen if you're online. It's all coming together. You can be seated. You can be seated. You can be, it's all, come on, type that on the screen if you're online. It's all coming together. I'm so glad you didn't take your life because he's about to give you revelation. I'm so glad you didn't quit because he's about to show you that all things are about to work together for your good. Let's talk for a minute. Um, this is the coming of a new heir. In other words, the heir of the judges is about to come to an end. If you do your homework, you would understand that this is a total of between 430 to 450 years of the children of Israel. But there's about to be a new beginning. The book of Judges has a total of 12 judges by name. We mostly focus on those that are famous. You know, Deborah, Gideon, Samson. The end of an heir is about to do, about to end and a new is about to start. Listen to me carefully. He says, behold... Open your eyes. I'm about to do a new thing. I need you to hear me. Hannah, like you, has no idea that she's about to begin an intricate part, look at me, of something big, something huge, something new. I need you, now to, in this service, we just gonna touch your neighbors. You shouldn't have sat next to him if you didn't want to touch him. I need you to nudge it and say, I'm a part of something huge, something big, something new. 
Now allow me to show you what she wanted, what she wanted. And the Lord told me, I have heard your prayers, what you have been asking me for. Can I tell you what she wanted? In 1 Samuel 1 11, she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant misery. Number two, I need you to remember me. Don't play with me. I've been coming here for years. And not forget your servant. Here's the line. But give her a son. All I want is a son. Look at me. Anybody can have a son. But not everybody can birth history. <laughs> anybody can just have a son. But everybody can't handle what's next. Anybody can just give birth to a business. But everybody can't handle a multi-million dollar business. Anybody can get a job. But everybody can't get a career. He's heard your prayers. I need you to hear me. Um, but what if God got something different for you? What do you do when you're praying for one thing, but God got another thing? Oh, we out here now, we out here now, we out here now. Now it becomes that this is what I want, but this is what God wants me to have. Can I show you that she only wanted a son? Allow me to show you what she actually birthed. You got to hear me. She did not just have a son. If you look at the screen, what God has and what she birthed. She birthed not just a son, she birthed a prophet, she birthed a judge, and she birthed a priest. But all she wanted was a son. But God say, anybody can have that, but I want you to birth, watch me, was never been birthed before. If you study your scripture, look at me, please look. There's only one person in scripture that held three positions at one time. This Samuel, he's the only one in the book of the Bible, in the whole Old Testament, watch me, that hold three seats at one time. I feel sorry for people that try to box you in because lanes run in different directions when it come to you. I wish you would sit next to somebody who know that it's bigger than you could ever imagine. Ah, she's about to birth a history maker. She's about to birth, look at me, what's never been seen. There's no point of reference. I need your attention. What's about to come out of you has never been seen in your family or your bloodline. What's about to come through you you, you have no points of reference. He's about to exceed your expectation. Now, some of you all have settled, and I came to shake you tonight because you have settled for something small. But the Lord told me to tell you before the year is out, you're going to birth an Ephesians 320. Oh, I'm ready for y'all tonight. I'm about to wake you up. I'm about to get you ready. Somebody said, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what an Ephesians 320 is. Let me help you, boo. Because it's bigger than you could ever imagine. You sitting around here talking about you about to move to a new apartment. He's about to give you a house. You sitting up here walking, talking about, you talking about, you talking about. I'm about to, I just want, I just want a boyfriend, boo. Your next going to be your husband. I can't get no help up in here. Wait, wait, wait. What is an Ephesians 320? What is an What is an Ephesians 3:20? What is an Ephesians? Can you tell? Come on, y'all. We about to prophesy to each other. Tell your neighbor you're carrying an Ephesians 3:20. Tell somebody else you're carrying an Ephesians 3:20. What, what is that? What is that? Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly. Shut up talking to me. Not just exceedingly. Abundantly, not just abundantly, above all, you couldn't even put it in words. Above all that you can ask, 
guess what your brain couldn't even hold it your mind couldn't even hold it above all you can ask or think what, 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 wait, wait. according to the power that he's already got working in you look, look at me those of you all that, can, on the, that you feel like something big is supposed to be happening for me Though, this ain't for everybody because some of y'all straight I'm not talking to you I'm talking to those of you that's been sitting on the edge of your seat believing where you work is not your permanent where you live is not your final what you make is not the end of it that he's about to blow your mind exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask on the count of three I only want to talk to those that are carrying an Ephesians 320 if you don't have an Ephesians 320 then stay in your seat if you at home and you can relate that something big is in you history is about to be made records are about to be broken something big is about to happen watch me and when it happened to you it's gonna get on your kids your children would never go through what you've been through on the count of three if you got an Ephesians 320 I need to hear what the praise sound like one two three go Shay, Shoto, Rosoto, Batatara Bahaya, exceedingly. Please obey me. Some of y'all, your baby been asleep, but God's about to make your dream leap. Go to three people and say, I got an Ephesians 3:20. Tell them, I got an Ephesians 3:20. I got an Ephesians 3:20. I got it exceedingly. I got an abundantly. I got an above. I got something I've never seen before. I got something that I didn't even know was coming. Come on, type it on the screen. I have an Ephesians 320. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Have a seat. Exceedingly. Have a seat. Exceedingly. Sit down, exceedingly, exceedingly, exceedingly. That's why you can't get comfortable in that last place you moved to. Because it's not your final destination. That's why he don't let you get comfortable where you work. Because something big is about to come your way. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. okay, have a seat. All right, so now let's get some revelation. Let's get some revelation. Let's get some revelation. Let's get some revelation. Because everything that you've been going through, I need you to hear me. I need, your, I need your undivided attention. I've never seen so many carnal believers. That how do you believe that you're going to birth this without some warfare? You have an enemy. And I'm watching some of y'all break down when you're too close. If you were going to give up, you should have gave up two years ago. But the devil is a liar. This is your year of expectation. God, I wish you could open your mouth and say, I'm expecting a miracle. Oh, I'm watching some of y'all, you still are opening your mouth. Okay, let's go. So, um, for the weapons of our warfare... What you've been dealing with is not normal. Come on, lean in. This is spiritual. I need you to hear me. Some of y'all, I wish I could get all up in your face. Cameraman, can you just come a little close to me? Because I need them to see a hood face, if you don't mind. I wish I can get in your face face and say stop being a punk square your shoulders up you a warrior if the, he was going to let the devil kill you you would have died 10 years ago but I refuse to believe that God brought you this far God I wish you were sitting next to a warrior <laughs> Come on, let's talk. Let's talk. I didn't come to play with y'all tonight. I didn't come to play with you tonight. I'm on assignment. 
And he gonna make sure that I fulfill my assignment because greatness awaits you. Sit out. So it's, it's not just gonna pop up. This is a process. And it's different pieces to the puzzle that have to come together. I need you to hear me if you've never heard me before. There's different pieces to your puzzle. I don't like people that finally meet you when you've completed the different pieces. And they think, oh, you just popped up. You don't know my process. You don't know what I went through to get what I have. Come on here. You better trace my sewing record. You better find the tears that I cried. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's talk. So let me give you revelation. And as I begin to teach you and preach to you, it will kind of show you, uh, this explains it. Mm. Come on. Let's go. You ready? The first piece to the puzzle is you. <laughs> you. What do you mean you? I need you to notice that scripture that he said twice back to back. And the Lord had closed her womb in verse 5. Then he said it again in verse 6. Because the Lord. This ain't the devil. This is the Lord that got her on hold. Watch me. There's nothing wrong with her. She is perfect. There are no, no issues in her body. It's just that the Lord got her on hold. And when the Lord got you on hold, the enemy want to make you question you. <laughs> he want to make you feel as if you have insecurities. He messes with your self-esteem. He began to make you feel, look at me, that you are not qualified. He began to make you feel that you lack in something. Hey, look at me. The Lord sent me to tell you, hear ye, hear ye. There is nothing wrong with you. You are perfect. You have the degrees. You have the favor. You have the wisdom. You have the knowledge. You just on hold. Oh, stop looking at everybody that's holding a baby. You not just going to have a baby. You about to do something that has never been done before. I rebuke your insecurities. I rebuke your fears. I shut the mouth of the enemy that's been telling you that you lack something. Oh, you don't lack nothing. He's just been hiding you behind the screen. But the day is coming. You're about to be front and center. Those of you that believe, you only believe that God got his hands on you and that there's nothing wrong with you. I need you to lift your hands. No music, Danny. Open your mouth and worship God for five seconds. Five, four, eight, I'll see. three. I haven't allowed them to call you yet. I haven't allowed the business plan to go through yet. The business plan is perfect. There is nothing wrong with you. Oh, let me say that again. There, you are fine. You is smart. There is nothing you are you are not slow. You see the answers. They just don't listen to you. There's nothing wrong. And those that are down here try to make you feel like you crazy. I came to tell you, there's nothing. Look at me. There's nothing. He, he got everything you need all in alignment. It's just waiting on the right timing. Listen. Okay. So let's talk. Have a seat. Have a seat. The second piece 
of the puzzle is three pieces because there are three different type of people that you're going to have to deal with. I need you to be, you're not just going to birth history and everybody going to like you. <laughs> Let's talk. The first piece is you're going to have to deal with some people, Panina, who just dislike you. They just dislike you. And the thing is, what have you done to them? I need your attention. I need your attention. The Bible said, her rival. What did I do to become your rival that kept provoking her in order to irritate her? Question, what are some people doing that they know that if they do it, it's going to get on your nerve? Oh my God, we out here now. And it keeps poking away at you because it's trying to get you off your square. Oh, we out here now. And, and the Bible says in what's it, verse 7, her rival provoked her till she wept and wouldn't eat. It's starting to affect you emotionally, mentally. It's messing with your mind. Why? Because you are a likable person. You are this, this, what's it, you are a likable person. Now I need your, I need, I need your attention right here. Like, what's it? Now Panina got sons and daughters. What is it that the enemy will get on people that have more than you and make them not like you. You already got sons and daughters and I have nothing. You already the supervisor. I'm just the one that worked for you. You're already the one that got money, but I seem to intimidate you. Can I tell you? Can I tell you why they don't like you? Because it's spiritual. Every time you walk up, your spirit scream in the room before you get there. Hey, favor's on his way in. You might not have nothing, but the God had to let the enemy know that future is on its way in the building. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hear me clearly, hear me clearly, hear me clearly, hear me clearly. No more jumping jacks, no more cartwheels, trying to get them to like you. They not gonna like you. Poof, be gone. I need you not to change. Every time you see them, I need you to be like, hey, <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm carrying something that you're going to wish you had. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, come on here. So, number one, you got to deal with those that dislike you. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the real world. Number two, you're going to have to deal with some people. You have to deal with some people who want you to settle. They want you to settle. I need your attention. Her husband, Elkanah, said to her, Hannah. Girl, why are you weeping? Won't you just eat? Why are you downhearted? Here's the line. Don't I mean more to you than 10 sons? They tell you, you should just be happy. Look at me. At least you got a job. <laughs> you should just be what you crying for? Because there's some of you all that need your attention. See, this would be okay for somebody else. But there's something in me that keeps telling me there has to be more than just this. This is why you got to watch who you walk around. You got to make sure that you sit around people who know that God has something better in store for them. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you for a minute? Can I help you for a minute? Years ago, years ago, years ago, I ended up, Bishop came to Chicago and him and I went out to dinner and he sat me at the table. He says, John, you scaring me. I said, oh God, I'm scaring the bishop. He said, I'm watching you on social media and I'm watching you take pictures and post with people who really don't like you, who really only want a picture. They only want to show that they next to greatness. They're not there to help you get to your greatness. <laughs> he said, John, you'll never see a picture where an eagle came down to take a picture with a chicken. And I'm telling some of y'all, he's about to change your circle. 
if they don't call you back I need you to be okay with it if they don't respond to you I need you to be good with it why because they think that you should be happy for what you already have I need you to make sure that you're sitting around people who know there's more than what you have right now I need you to just come on, watch me watch me watch me watch me don't just touch them I need you to touch me and my spirit get to leaping. I don't need no pet. I need you to wake my dream up. Can you please touch three people and say, there has to be more than just this. Come on, touch it. Has to be more than just this. 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 I'm not settling. I'm not settling. The devil is a lie. I believe there's more for me. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? The third type of people that you're going to have to deal with are those that just don't understand you. You look crazy to them. <laughs> now I need your attention. These are those in the religious community. These are the faith-based people that look at you and you confuse them. So what do you mean? What do you mean? She's in the house of God. They offer up their sacrifice. They're eating. And the Bible said, and Hannah stood up. And she just started walking and started praying. Watch me. And the priest, Eli, looked at her and said, how long are you going to stay drunk? Girl, you need to put away your wine. See, where you are, even some people who's supposed to be spiritual don't understand your movement. They don't understand your motive. They don't understand your actions. They don't understand your prayer life. They don't understand your consecration. They don't understand your praise. They don't understand your shout. They don't even understand you. These are the ones that when you shout, they say, Ugh, I don't think that it take all of that. It might not take all of that for you because you don't have coming what I have coming. You're not even going through what I'm going through. But I need those that your praise is crazy. How do you praise God and you ain't even got a dime in your pocket? How do you praise God and you sick in your body? How do you praise God and you going through all kind of hell? Because I will bless the Lord. You better get ready. I need you to look stupid right now. I need you to look crazy right now. I need them to misunderstand your praise. You got a title? I got a title, but I still got a praise. You are my bishop, but I still got a praise. You an evangelist, but you still got a praise. If you got a crazy praise, let's confuse the enemy right here. You ain't got to understand me. This praise ain't for you anyway. On the count of three, in the building, online. I need you to give God, look at me, the craziest praise you got. One, two, three, go! Come on! You can get crazy in the net. You can get wilder than that. You better lose your mind. Give them something to talk about. Why you gotta walk the altar? Cause that's how I get my last blessing. Why you gotta lay in the floor? Cause I don't care about my clothes. Why you gotta run? Cause I'm chasing my promise. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody know I'm talking to you? I need you to clap your hands and say, it's all coming together. Click. 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 Have a seat. Let's move fast. Have a seat. Let's move fast. Click. Click. Have a seat. Click. What's that? When you, when you put a puzzle in a piece, it had to pop in there. And I hear popping in the spirit. I hear that God's about to put some things together for you. And the quicker the puzzle gets together, the sooner you get what you've been.
Ready? You got to get this. You got to get this. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. First it was you. And then it was people. Pop. Pop. Who is that? Panina? She ain't never like me. Pop. Who is that? Elkana? He told me to settle. Pop. Who is that? Eli? And God still ain't done. Oh my God. It's all coming together. Hear me? You ready? Listen to me. The next piece is time. It's time. <laughs> what you mean? Time. This didn't just happen one time. The scripture said, look at me. Year after year. Year after year. Same demon, year after year, same warfare, year after year, same illness, year after year. Oh my God, I need you to watch this. So I have some examples of time. I need your undivided, whenever she went up year after year to the house of the Lord, there she was. Let me show you some examples of time so that I can encourage you. Abraham had to wait 25 years after he was promised that he was going to have a seed. Saul chased David for over a decade before he even got to sit on his throne. The woman with the issue of blood had to wait, bleed for 12 years before she even touched the hem of his garment. There was a man on the pool of Bethesda. He was there for 38 years. There was a woman that was bent over for a total of 18 years, year after year. I need you to hear me. What do you do while you wait? is what is important. I need your attention now, because you all read the bio, but you don't know how long I had to wait. Can I talk for a minute? I got saved at the age of 17. 17, I got saved. I graduated from high school. I went away to college. I went to Alabama State HBCU. I graduated. I came back and I had to submit to Elder Willie James Campbell. I served him from the age, from the college age, until I was 36. At 36, I thought that I was ready. And the Lord said to me, if I let you go now, you'll only repeat what you've seen when I have more for you to see. So I need to send you to a place that's unfamiliar to you. These are people that don't look like you, talk like you, act like you, but they have a lesson that you have to learn. I had to leave the south side of Chicago and get in my car and drive to a Puerto Rican community and go to a church called um, New Life. Here I was the first black man to ever join their church. I was the first black man to ever be anointed a preacher in their church, a pastor in their church. I was the first black man that they planted. Hear me clearly. I walked in at the age of 36. I thought I would only be there for a couple of years. But soon as I thought that I was ready, he would say to me, you're not ready yet. He told me, John, it's no question you can preach. It's no question you can pray. But you don't have a shepherd's heart. Mm. And I'm not going to plant you until you love God's people. You all have titles, but you don't have the heart to match the title. And you need a heart transplant. Come on, we out here now. We out here now. We out here, yeah. So I had to literally sit until I was 40 years old. And some of you all, you keep matching your age to somebody else. But the Lord told me to come in the building and rebuke your age. Y'all ain't ready for me now. Because I came to tell you what it took somebody to do in 10 years. You're going to do it in one. 
Why? Because you waited on God. Those of you that know that you've been in a waiting pattern, oh my God, you had a job you can't stand, you got a position you don't like, and you thought that you would be out of here by now, and there's a part of you that's getting frustrated, I want you to feel all of that. But watch me, watch me, watch me. But when you get done feeling it, I need you to put a praise on your lips. Why? Because you have to bless God. Watch me, wait, wait, wait. You got to monitor your confessions. I need you to hear me. You got to hear me. Watch me, watch me. Listen, listen. It was a Puerto Rican. It was a Puerto Rican that anointed me. It was a Puerto Rican that planted me. When he planted me, he bought my first sound system and he opened up um, my bank account. He gave, he started my 501c3 and then he told me, you got it. I need you to hear me. In one year, God, the same oil that's on me, I want it to be on you. In one year, we became a million dollar ministry. Wait, wait, don't clap, don't clap. Because some of y'all, when you open, in one year, it's about to exceed one million. Oh, God, I wish I had some, I wish I had faith people. I wish I had faith people. I wish I had people. We walk by faith. Who am I talking to in the building? Who am I talking to online? You've been feeling like you on hold, but God sent me to tell you, you're not on hold. Every delay is about to be to your benefit. Every delay is about to be to your benefit. Everybody get on your feet, lift your hands. Danny, Danny, no music. Lift your hands, open your mouth and worship God for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight. Uraba Sheke Randa Damasi Roto Randa Dama Batanda Damasi Roto Rimi and Dama Haya. Come on, say yes, Lord. Why you why your hands are lifted, say yes, Lord. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Jesus had to wait until he was 30. Moses had to wait until he was 80. Abraham had to wait until he was 75. What's so special? about you that you don't think that you have to wait. I would rather you get me together than send me out and I'm not together. Hear me loud and clear. Every, every, every delay is about to be to your benefit. Hear me loud and clear. When he lets you out, Ooh, we doors are gonna open that you didn't even ask them to open for you. Opportunities are gonna come that you didn't even see coming for you. Everybody that's been on hold, lift your hands and release your praise right here. Click, click, click. And I say, click. Oranda na masanda lobo saya masande. Click. Oranda na masiande. Roso toranda na masaya. Glory, glory, glory. You ready? The last click. The last click. The last click. Is it possible? You got the experience. You have the degree. You have all the paperwork. You just lack prayer. We got you together. We shut the mouths of all of your enemies. Let's be honest. Do you complain or do you pray? I know. Come on, stick with me. Stick with me. Stick with me. Stick with me. You keep running to people. Can you pray for me? No, because you have not, because you don't open your mouth and ask for it. And don't just pray when they're getting on your nerves. 
See, prayer is adoration, confession, thanks, supplication, intercession. Prayer is adoration, confession, thanks, supplication, and intercession. A-C-T-S-I. Adoration, confession, thanks, supplication, intercession. You just keep going to supplication. Give me this, 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 give me this. What about the adoration? Did you tell him who he is? Did you blow him up? Did you speak well of him? Did you tell him how much you love him? Did you tell him how much you appreciate him? Did you tell him adoration, confession, if I've done anything, if I'm acting a certain way, can you forgive me? See, T, thanks. Can I thank you for what you've already done? Can I thank you for what you've already done? The Lord told me to stop right there because some of y'all, he told me to tell you before I give you another thing, you owe me a thank you for what I've already done for you. You might not like the job, but at least you got a job. You might not like the house, but at least you got a roof over your head. And if you thank me, then I'll move you. You might as well get ready oh, let's see, on the count of three but you play with me what if I told you your release is in your thanks what if I told you your deliverance is in your thanks what if I told you your healing you got to know how to shift in prayer and in her deep anguish in her deep anguish Anna, Anna prayed to the Lord weeping Billy Hannah prayed with her heart that only her lips begin to move sometimes you got to know how to shift look at me shift watch me how did I learn how to pray how did I learn how to pray I had to get around some prayer warriors why is prayer foreign to his people why am I, look at me for say something why am I known for prayer and we're not why am I known for prayer and we're not? Why are they calling me from all over the world? I'm going to Africa and say, we only brought you because we've heard you pray. We brought you because we followed you in the spirit and found out. There's, and what's, this is what they say in Africa. There's not that many crying out to God. Woo! I asked the Africans, I said, can you tell me, what is it about you all? He said, you know what it is? You have insurance when you get sick. We have God. When you need a loan to get your house built, you have a bank to run to. We don't have a bank. We have God. Oh my God. So you got to know how to shift. Sometimes you got to holler. Then sometimes you got to whisper. Then sometimes you got to travail. Then sometimes you're going to pray in English. And sometimes you're going to pray in tongues. But prayer got to be your option. And I came to tell some of y'all, he's about to put a prayer wheel in you. Put my puzzle on the screen. Put my puzzle on the screen. I need you to make sure you got somebody that got a sound next to you. Just reach over, grab somebody's hand and say, glory! Yeah, my mom, my mom, <laughs> Come on, I need you to make sure. Watch me, wait, 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 wait. See, some of y'all, this is foreign to you. But if you get around the right ones, it'll get on you. I need you to make sure you got somebody that's not scared to open their mouth. Come on online. I need you to get ready to open your mouth and travail before you. Come on, Troy. Some of y'all were raised in church. Some of y'all know how to get down and call on Jesus. Some of y'all, you've been taught how to give God glory in spite of everything you've been going through. Look at somebody again and say, glory! He's about to answer your prayer. Come on, Joel. We get a quickening every now and then. We look crazy to people because they don't understand. But those of you that are waiting on God to do something supernatural for you, I need you to get ready to open your mouth and say, Jesus. Come on, don't get scared. Don't get scared. Don't pull back either. For I am a very present help in the time of trouble. I am a very present help in the time of trouble.
trouble. I'll heal your house. I'll heal your body. I'll get your children. I'll fix your business. I'll get everything in black. Open your forget and say, Jesus. Some of y'all holding back. Because you're next to somebody that only got a single bag. And if this is all you have, then this is all you can give. But I want to show you something. Hold on. I want to show you something. So he says, the Bible said, Akana will give Panina her sons and her daughters just a potion to come to the house of God. But to Hannah, who needed a miracle, You don't know what I'm waiting on. And the bigger your promise, the bigger your bag. You're not sitting around here with a sandwich sized blessing, but there's something big that you wait on. That you wait on God to do for you. And people don't understand why you so loud. Why you giving God all the praise? Cause I got double. He gave me double praise. Look at me, Joel. My, the anointing on my life don't match to everybody's anointing. Because he gave me double anointing. Because I got something big coming out. Now, you could be around little bag people, or you could be around a big bag person. I can tell who you're next to by how they arms up. It's getting ready to happen. Some of y'all need to meet me on the altar. Some of you big bag people that's waiting on God to do something exceedingly. You got double. You got double. You got double. Which means your praise is supposed to be louder than everybody else. You got double. Which means your shout is supposed to be louder than anybody else. You got double. Don't you play with me. Don't you play with me. I gave you what you need to push. I gave you what you need to push. You got to keep it moving. Quitting is not an option. Quitting is not an option. Quitting is not an option. Giving up is out of the question. Eh, shake Rata Shaya Rosoto Bisheke Rata Damase Randa Dama Mama 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 Please 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 hear me I'm not here by chance or by accident This is divine If I've ever known that I'm in his will I know it tonight He sent me to tell you At the top of the year In the first quarter of the year That I'm literally Giving you A double portion I came to check your bag tonight. I came to check your bag tonight. I came to check your bag tonight. I came, come on, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I came to check your bag. You cannot run out. Tanya, too much is at stake. If you go empty, 
you cannot run out. So my assignment tonight is to make sure that you get what you need. <laughs>